All right, what is up, you guys? And as always, welcome back to the Wi-Fi battle, which is truly the Scarender. And uh, yeah, so you go up in, of course, Matua in um, OU Wi-Fi battle, and uh, focus here is Stone Edge. And that's gonna be. <laughs> Why is this? Or actually, it's it's not half bad. I think. Um. I'm telling myself these things, so I don't like lose it. But I have. Let's see. Let's see. Chris, focus. What is his lead? Zerora or Verafon? I actually see Gabron's here, my. Um, <laughs> my stone edge should maybe be of usage. Because uh, Cinderay struggles versus it, Zerora has an extended struggle versus it, Verafon can't beat it. Actually, just overall turns out to be quite a good lead. I like it. I like it just fine. So we'll do that. Um, besides that, you know, this is this is a, of course a team that is way over my head, and um, I don't know. You ask for OU and Reddit just provides the best stuff. But you no know, focus, right? That's it. Shouldn't matter. I should be able to uh, get something fun out of this. Let's see, leads up with your C that's just like the worst lead you could have. And that's a single strike variant. That's that's not gonna beat your mom variant. Um Still though. Still though. Um sitting in scowls here. I can take whatever hit it throws at me and potentially still go for a tailwind or even nicer. Um U-turn. Hey, what's that all about? It's that banded. Did not expect that actually. Um, absolutely not expect that. So Ferrothorn comes in. I'm sure Cinderace. That's cool, buddy. I I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Um, Want to make this play already? Nah, nah. I like it. he powered on. It's like super safe. I think. I'm just specially defensive, so I'm like not in the best range of taking hits. Powerball, okay, that's cool. You should be able to stomach that. Still did a lot though. So The way I see it, like Ferrophone comes in here as a rod. He does have a defaulter, right? No. Rocks. Get them rocks. Here's the libero. Makes sense. One really good part here is that um, I don't believe Ferrophone beats me. I don't believe um, Toxapex either beats me. Ferrophone comes in, so that makes sense. So the question is, like, he should be lead seed, he should be spikes, and he should be just overall annoying. So what I want to do is, uh, Roshi can set up versus that, can't he? With little to no issue. Clearly don't enjoy Mewtwo or uh, Serora, but so so there are issues. <sighs> he shouldn't go for. Um, a power whip here. If I were him, I'd probably go for spikes or stealth rocks. So I'm, I'm just slacking off here. He could also lead seed for the switch. Uh, if it goes for power whip, that's like massive power for him. No gyro ball, we're gonna stomach that fine. I'm sorry, man, but that's just. Um, you don't. I was, I was just about to say you don't have a type advantage, but to an extent you kinda do. Um, don't enjoy those moves, however. So, sending Yurashi, going for Rodri or Asve directly, just get as much damage as possible in there as uh, anything else just doesn't make sense. Keeps Jara balling, so that's kind of cool. Um, gonna do more this time, though. Define not effective. Um, Asve should force him out, but really, at this time, I kind of just want the damage on it. 
I know Stoutland is phenomenal once Ferraf 1 is gone or below 40%. More 35% if I don't want to risk the roll. Right, this is sign to say, and we're gonna get a good chunk here. Yeah, that's good. So I just want to see leftovers. No leftovers. That's kind of exciting. Um, show your aura sphere. Like, that should stress you out a little bit. I'm gonna call mine here. Damn, he stays in. So I'm gonna pop my citrus. I was pretty sure Mute was gonna come in. I'm just not sure why he would stay in like this with his Ferrophon, just wasting his gyro balls. Or am I crazy for having that thought? This is something to keep staying in, like I don't get this. This time it's absolutely gonna die. I don't understand, I don't understand what I was thinking. Then again, like, Cinderace comes in now and just kind of beats my this set with ease. Um, your Shifu comes in. So I should have assumed it's maybe Scarf then. I guess I should consider that. Because he can lock himself into Wicked Blow and... Uh, with really no issue. Uh, singing Skulls again, I should be able to stomach at least one of those hits. Probably one of a few times, like Fairy and... Uh, I see Wicked Blow, like I said, we should be able to take this. Could be wrong. Nice. Um, what, that was a crit? No. <laughs> hmm. Right, getting that safe Tailwind. Um, this is basically to show that... Um, I outspeed him. Is whether or not a retaliation is enough, however. It probably isn't, though it shouldn't be massively bulky if it is uh, Choice Scarf set. This could scare him also, now that I think about it. I don't believe Wicked Blow takes me out. So it's scarfed. Um, retaliation is just massive. And you, know, you know what's coming. You know what's coming, buddy. Toxic Pecs. Alright, that's, yeah. That's the coward's route. I've seen it before. <laughs> Let's see, how much will it do even? Yeah, that was not the switching. <laughs> that must have been uh, that must have been a tough call. <laughs> Painful bunker. Ooh, you have no idea what you did. Thank you for that. Get me poisoned. Yes, you just gave myself a sod. I'm sorry, buddy, but this is this is the GG we were waiting for. But I still need to kill him. But um, at this point, retaliate is irrelevant. Question is, though, would it switch out? Would you? Like, he's thinking, I can use Toxic Pegs. It's a magnificent Pokemon. I haven't heard of anybody. Everybody loves the Toxic Pegs, right? No. I don't like the dangling bars in the bunker. Like for me, this is balls in a bunker. He does decide to try to preserve it. It's unfortunate, but it's not the worst. I 
I will very much enjoy having that facade off, but... Pff, dude, dude, you feeling this? You feeling this? This is the sound of your death. Um... It all depends, so like, I clearly need... Uh, he powered on, at least to set up the um, sand more than once. So, sand stream. Court change. Alright, so... Hey, I get stealth rocks, cool. It's actually not the worst. Um, did I expect core change? You know, you see Cinderace only with you know a bulk of variant, which is so annoying. Um, let's see. I don't think that matters, actually. I'll lose nothing by earthquaking if I want to. Uh, but I'm actually gonna stay rather safe here. Because I need to get Stalin in safely. And uh, he could just powerballing. Or just U-turn. If I were him, I'd probably U-turn. Powerball, right? Cool. Nothing to it. Um, will it knock me out? I think so. So no defog for me. Which sucks. It does, but... Um, he's low, though. He's very low. I need to do this. Um, don't like switching in when I have toxic. And always like has that stellar worry about um, that sucker punch on either Cinderace or um, your Shifu. But besides that, I should easily get a few KOs here. If Pex comes in, I know it's gonna be in full bunker, so I won't like stall that through. He's thinking about this. I did not enjoy chord change, I give you that. But I don't want any more damage onto my mons, so yeah, he sacks it, makes sense. That was the only play in my book. And now I believe Pex comes in. How much will Poison do? Alright, so I have four turns of uh, facade damage. He sure as hell is taking his time. I wonder why. I have my ideas of why he's doing this. Oh, don't be that guy. Don't... Don't be that guy. Just because you knew you probably lost. Probably. This game is not over, but... Um, yeah, I think he's doing it. So if that's the play, then you know there's no reason for me of not... I guess it's lacking off with... Uh, wait, it brings in your Shifu. I was convinced the Baneful Bunker play was... He could have Sucker Punched then. That's the only thought process I have. Let's find out. No, but he was faster. He was faster. Ah. That's unfortunate. I thought I had this in the bag. Huh. Yeah, should be max speed. Um, good thing though is he's minus. So I can get my easy earthquake off. Hmm. And here I was celebrating my victory, I guess. 
Guess I took it out too early. Right, keeps close combating, so that's kind of nasty. I um, think Earthquake should kill him now, though. Maybe. Let's see. <sighs> Damn, we should have done more. Because now I'm forced to take another. I won't enjoy it. And then Mewtwo comes in. Oh, or he crits me. That's nice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I didn't need that. I absolutely didn't need that. Ah, it's going to be the worst loss ever. That actually sucks. There is no way of me winning. Ah, I was blaming my opponent for timer stalling, but no, he just got it right. So wait, this is like the second game I get my hand, my ass handed to me by your Shifu, and it's a, it's the less survival one. It's the Scar Fairy. What? How? How is this possible? Well, anyway, I guess I need to redo my Stoutland. So with my opponent GG, you know, I clearly thought I was in a winning position and instead I get absolutely ruined uh, <laughs> and there was nothing to it. Damn, that was a rough loss actually. Like I said, I was convinced I, I was in a winning position I was going to absolutely ruin him from here. Then again, you know, I didn't necessarily have... No, I'm not going to blame my opponent for having a better team. At this point, that was my mistake with Stoutland. That was all it was. So to my opponent, GG, and thank you for Game 2, and uh, for everyone watching, as always, thank you for doing your so, and have a great day, everyone.